One of the most important traits of a good translator is keeping the deadlines. When asking your translator for a possible deadline, most importantly, you need to take his daily productivity in words into account. But this is not enough. Translator performs many other tasks that takes time. So what does the translator do apart from the translation itself that takes so much time? Using the Firewatch localization bundle, I will show you how much time and why that long it would take one person to translate Campo Santo's game. So let's assume I received Firewatch files to localize to Polish. First, I create the project and import the files. There are quite many of them, 105 to be precise. They are JSON files, but do not have the JSON extension. So I need to instruct MemoQ to import them as JSON. They are recognized as unknown files and I need to change their configuration. So I choose JSON files with the JSON filter and they are importing. Now I need at least an hour or two to browse the files, read some of their content and find out whether there are a lot of dialogues or perhaps the UI contains many options or maybe the inventory is full of exotic weapons or technology names. I need to look around the strings. Opening and reading files one by one is a waste of time and it doesn't give me a full image of what to expect. So I create a view and this view is a virtual collection of all files glued together that allows me to see all the strings in one window. Now I know that there are almost 9000 segments to translate. If you worry that I will be translating one by one without context or even knowing what file they come from, do not. See that I do not lose track of file names. In the lower part of the window I always know what file I am translating and I will get the context by seeing the game in action. But this 9000 strings does not give me any point of reference as to assessing the time I will need to translate the game. Because a string can contain one character or even hundreds of words. I need to know the exact number of words. Without going into details, a translator can deliver 3000 words daily. But some strings might repeat and it makes the work go faster. I see that at the very first glance, repeated segments are marked with the green rectangles. What I need to do is to analyze the files. I click statistics, go over the dialogues and analyze all the files together. Now I see the details. So there are more than 53,000 words, but more than 3.7 thousand are repetitions. It means that some strings repeat several times. Such strings, for example, with 10 repetitions will need to be just translated once and all nine repetitions will be propagated automatically. So more than one day's worth of work will be done by itself. 53,000 divided by 3,000 words daily gives almost 18 days of only translation work, minus one day due to the repetitions and we have 17 days. I need to add one or two days for preparation of the files, reading some of the strings to get to know the text and its style and preparation of query sheets, as well as playing the game if I get the license from a developer or getting familiar with the style guide. Having finished translating, I review the text, get rid of inconsistencies and polish everything up. That usually takes about half the time needed for translation. Here it will be about 10 days. I assume, as most of the strings are dialogues and monologues and they really need to sound natural. Then I need to add one more day to perform all quality assurance tests such as the ones I've shown in my other video about Xbench. So to sum it up, one man localization of Firewatch should take about 30 days. It is worth to remember that the daily output of a translator is about 3000 words and review usually takes half the time needed for translation. So if any translator claims that the job can be done a lot faster, that might mean that the quality would go south. It is simply impossible to deliver high quality and translate 10,000 words daily and spend only one day reviewing. This also goes the other way around. Do not ask the translator to get the job done within a very narrow deadline. It might be technically doable, 
but the quality will not be perfect. Bear this in mind when negotiating deadlines with the translators.